Number one, face recognition. This is the first machine learning project that we'll be looking at. Here we'll learn how we can use uh, machine learning combined with the Python programming language and maze make a face uh, recognizer, meaning that you can give uh, images as input and then the algorithm will try to classify whether or not there is an image on the picture. So this is a fun project that only takes 10 minutes to do. Number two. StarCraft 2 AI. In this project, we will use the StarCraft 2 game made by Blizzard uh, Activision. And here we will make a simple uh, Python script that allows us to uh, make a little AI that can play the game for us, meaning that it will start up uh, a version of the StarCraft 2 and then we will program it to do uh, certain things based on conditions that happens, happens in the game. This is a 4. Uh, video tutorial that will cover uh, different aspects of the StarCraft 2 AI. Number three, visual decision tree. So decision trees are very popular within machine learning uh, and uh, machine intelligence in general. But usually when you code these, you don't really know what is going on the need because it's an algorithm and in machine learning a lot of this is hidden from us as a programmer or of course for the user. But in this little uh, Python project, we will learn how we can actually make a visual representation of the decision tree that our uh, script has made. So we'll code a recommender or will a machine learning algorithm and then it will, based on the data input, make a decision tree and then we will see how we can take this and uh, present it visually in a PN PNG file similar to what you see here on the screen, such that we can follow each of the decisions that the algorithm has decided based on the data that we have trained. This, this gives a unique in input or uh, view on what is actually going on uh, beneath, beneath our code. Uh, and this is especially nice if you are new to working with decision trees and machine learning in general. Then we have number four, spam detection. Here we'll learn how we can combine Python programming with the Bayes theorem which will allow us to use probability calculation uh, on our text representation as, as input. Here it will be messages where we'll be using the uh, bag of words uh, approach to categorize whether a given uh, message is spam or ham. So spam, of course, it's something that we don't want, whereas ham is a good message and something we want. So we will train it based on uh, data where we have some uh, messages that we beforehand has categorized as being spam and then we have some as being ham and then our algorithm will use this uh, probability algorithm in combination with the bag of words to identify whether a new message that we put into the algorithm is uh, either a spam or a good message that we can use. So this is an algorithm that you can use in the backend if you have a application where you get input from users in order to avoid them being able to uh, post all kind of uh, weird messages into your system. So this is also a fun little project that won't take you long to, to get uh, running. But of course, if you want to train the algorithm really deeply, it will of course take time as everything else with machine learning. Then we have number five. So this is a friend recommender, also a fun little project where we'll use the K nearest neighbor algorithm which is a super uh, wise learning algorithm and based on that we will try to uh, learn our algorithm what kind of friends in a system so here we have similar to for example you know from netflix where when you log into netflix you will get uh, recommended uh, different kind of movies and these movies is based on your preference from previously watched movies where netflix has tried to calculate based on your viewing habits uh, combine that with other viewers habits and then uh, present the movies for you. Here we go the other way around. So here we will try to say okay these people have uh, seen the same movies so maybe they would be uh, they are sharing interest and therefore could uh, be good candidates for having a social interaction. So we turn the algorithm around uh, and basically present you uh, friends. This can be used for example in a social media where you probably know from Facebook, sometimes Facebook tells you, uh, do you know this person? That is probably based on our algorithm underneath. And here we will try to make a simple version uh, of that also. So this was five Python machine learning projects. All the links is in the description.